our last uh, lesson on the fruit of the spirit at, on Kids Corner. Um, over these last four weeks, we have been learning and working through the nine different fruit of the spirits that Jesus gives us. Now we've been talking about each one and we've been learning that they are all different tools and traits that we use to be more like Jesus. So let's take a minute and the words are going to come up and we're going to read our, our main verse together one last time. So here we go. Follow the words. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Good reading. So today we're going to talk about the last two, which are gentleness and self-control. First we're going to talk about gentleness. So right now, my husband Eli and I, we are teaching our daughter Melody sign language. We're teaching her sign language so that way she has a better time communicating while she's still figuring out how to talk. So we've been working on words like eat, like please, water, all done, thank you. Uh, we've been working on words like, um, I don't know, we've been working on a bunch of different ones. We've been working on more. That's a big one that we use. And we also use the word gentle. So we have a big dog. His name's Harley. And Melody loves her dog. So as she's figuring out how to pet him and give him some pats on the, on the back and on the head, we have to teach her too that we can't pull his ears or stick our fingers up his nose or hit him and so as we're teaching her how to pet him and how to be jet how to be soft with him we're also teaching her the word gentle so we teach her gentle so that way she really she knows that when she's with harley and she's playing with him she has to touch him softly and she can't just pull all of his fur out because he doesn't quite like that i mean i don't like it when she pulls my hair either <laughs> so the definition of gentle is actually the softness of an action. Remember how we talked about the ending of the word ness? How we talked about N-E-S-S? -S? Well, we're still going to use that with gentle. And so we're going to put it at the end of it. And that means the quality. Remember we talked about ness means the quality of something? So gentleness means the quality of of a soft action. But there's also another part to it. So we just talked about a physical action, but now we're going to talk about the action of gentleness emotionally. Being gentle is a way of being kind. Kindness is already a fruit of the spirit, so this must mean that gentleness is pretty important too. Let's see what the Bible says about gentleness. We're going to go to Colossians. Colossians is in the New Testament. And we're going to go to chapter 3, verse 12. And it says this. Therefore, as God's chosen people, Christians, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. We've seen these words before. This verse says to clothe ourselves, which in other words, it means to surround ourselves or cover ourselves with these different things. These things take a lot of work and a lot of focus. It's easy for our eyes to, to get fixed on distractions, which brings us to our last fruit of the spirit, self-control. You want to know what the definition of self-control is? It is the ability to regulate our emotions, thoughts, and behaviors in the face of temptations and impulses. 
Whoa. I'm going to read that again. The ability to regulate our emotions, our thoughts, our behaviors, so our actions, in the face of temptations and impulses. So Romans 7 verses 18 says, For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have to desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. So we know that we are born into a world of sin. We had talked about this before when we did, long story short, when we talked about the different people in the Old Testament, like Adam and Eve. So we are born into sin, which automatically, by default, makes us sinful people. But we don't want to be sinful, right? That's why it's important to have self-control, because that is what keeps us focused on all of these fruits of the Spirit. Again, they're the tools for us to be like Jesus. And Jesus helps us not fall for the temptations. Like, for instance, an example of a physical self-control would be Halloween candy sitting right there. Mom's not around. Dad's not around. That chocolate looks really good. I don't know about you, but I love Kit Kats and Mars bars. And if there's a Kit Kat or Mars bar around, you can guarantee I'm going to be, I'm going to have my eyes on that. So the temptation is to take it and eat it. But self-control says you didn't ask permission. Or you've already had one, you know you shouldn't have another one. That's what self-control does. Or if we think that's a physical temptation. Let's think about an emotional temptation. Someone hits you. Sometimes it's tempting to hit them back, or sometimes it's tempting to say something not very nice. But the self-control and the love and kindness and gentleness and patience tell us to react and to respond differently. See what self-control does? Okay. So, self-control keeps us focused and not distracted. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We did it. We got through all nine of them. These are so important for us to follow if we want to live like Jesus. We call ourselves Christians. That is a name given because it means to be Christ-like. If we practice all of these things, we're doing as Jesus asks us to, which is to love one another and to be patient and to show kindness and to be faithful and loyal and have self-control. All of these different things are what makes us like Jesus and what makes us good Christians. So if we follow this, we're doing as what Jesus calls us to do. That is so, you know, you look at these words and you're like, that's pretty easy. But as we just saw with self-control, it may not always be that easy. We have to stay focused. I am so happy and excited that you stayed and you have journeyed this, this series with me these last four weeks. I really enjoyed it. It's been a good challenge for me to keep me accountable which means, you know, it, it keeps me in check, making sure that as, as we talk about it, it makes me think about, do I do these things too? Which I'd like to think I do, but we can all do them together too. So that is the fruit of the spirit. So I said last week that I had a big announcement. Well, da 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 da, here it is. Starting Wednesday, December 2nd, we will be meeting in the evening on Zoom. We will be going back to our video lessons like what we did in person here in Sunday school. And we're going to have a Zoom call together. And we're going to spend some time watching the video, maybe doing some games over Zoom together, and have some discussion, and hopefully lots and lots of laughs. So stay tuned. 
We, I'm planning on having it at 6.30 in the evening, so after dinner and before bed in there. And um, I will be putting out more information for your parents so that way you guys can all get on easily and we can all have a good time. Okay? So, keep your eyes out on Facebook and we will be in touch. Okay guys, that is it for today. We are going to wrap up with some prayer and then we're done. So let's close our eyes together. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for showing us all of these tools and giving us all of these tools freely and willingly. And I just thank you for, for showing us how to be more like you. I thank you for all of the examples that you give us and for, for giving us the wisdom and the ability to be in control and to stay focused on you. I ask that you be with all of my friends this week as they go about their day-to-day -day lives, whether they go to school or their schools in their homes, whether they have doctor's appointments or they have to go somewhere. I pray that you keep them all safe and healthy and you bless each family in a special way this week. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone, that is it. And I will see you on Zoom on December 2nd. Bye!